All right, here's our video on comparing frog and human anatomy, and we're going to do it with math, right? So on Friday last week, we were dissecting frogs. Here's some of the pictures we have. And we have our liver, right? There's our liver. We'll get a little pen going here. Let's use, I'm going to use a magenta, whatever that color is. So here are the three lobes in the frog, and there's the heart. And here's the three lobes here. And there's the heart, right? And so with humans, right, humans, we have four lobes. Frog has three. But, of course, they have similar functions, right? So the liver is a very important organ. It filters our blood. Filters all the toxins out of our blood. And it's part of the excretory system. Let's write that down to eliminate waste and the digestive system and I'm sure you know what the digestive system is we did see the stomach oh yeah there's a stomach right over there and we did see the small intestines here's some of them over here so we're going to use math now to compare a frog's mass and a frog's liver's mass with the hum with a humans all right so let's clear that out let's give it a shot but before we do that we should know should know what proportions are. So proportions are equal. Where'd the pen go? Well, there we go. Use red. Proportions are equal ratios. They're equal ratios. So for example, if I had two thirds, well, two thirds is equal to three what? What do you think? Three sixths. Four sixths. Two thirds is equal to four sixths. They're equal, they're proportional. But let's say we didn't know a number. We only had, let's say, two thirds. We use the same one. And then we had, you know, we had six X over X. So here we can look. We can say, well, what times two is six? Well, change the color. Why not? We know two times three is six. So we have to use the same in the denominator. So three times three is nine. So to be proportional, you say two thirds equals six ninths. So that's easy, right? Let's do a little, another hard, hard one here. Let's say I had two-fifths equals, let's say, seven over x. So in this case, you don't see right away two times what number is seven. So what we can do, and this may help you later in algebra, is you can cross multiply. Do a little cross multiplication. So two times x, see I'm cross multiplying, two times x is two x. Put our little equal sign. And 7 times 5 is 35. So now we have an equation. We have a simple one-step equation. And you know the equal sign divides the equation. So now we want the x alone. We want that variable alone because we want to find out what x is. We want to solve, guess what, for x. So to do that, let's get rid of the 2. Let's get that 2 out of there. And we're dividing because we're doing the opposite operation the operation you see here is two times x two times x so we want to get rid of it and whatever you do to one side you do to the other side right so now we have x is all alone equals 35 over 2. now in high school 35 over 2 is a perfectly good answer but if we want to find exactly what it is we can ask alexa or stan or somebody right Ask someone in the room. Well, anyway, you can see it's 17.5 or 17 and a half. So that's proportions. That's how we solve for, for proportions. And we're going to do that comparing the liver of a human with the liver of a frog. All right, let's clear that out. Let's get the, go back here. All right, there's our livers. So for a frog liver, and you guys weighed this on the triple beam, and we were getting a little different answers here. But if, bring back our pen, use green, green for the frog, even though frogs are in many different colors. So if we did the mass of the frog liver, say the liver mass, and we're going to compare it to the mass of the, the entire frog. So we measured on the triple beam about one gram for the liver. And the mass of the frog, we got 51 grams. 
So let's compare that with a human. So a human, if you ever met them, their livers are about 3.3 pounds, which comes out to roughly about 1,500 grams. And in class, we'll go over some conversions. Basically, I'll just put it over here. Basically, one gram, one gram cracker, no, just one gram is about, I should put the about symbol there, about 0 0.002 pounds. All right? And so 3.3 .3 pounds roughly comes out to about 1,500. We don't have to be perfect here. And then we'll put an X here because we want to know, well, what should the weight be of a human then if we want to compare it to a frog? So we can cross multiply here, just like we did before. One times X, you know, is X. So we'll just put an X there. And 1,500, let's just write this down there, right? We're cross multiplying. 1,500 times 51, what do you think that is? Again, just ask Alexa if you need to. And that'll give us our answer. The answer will be around 76,500 grams. Now, that doesn't help us much because we don't use grams when we weigh ourselves, right? And, of course, in different countries, they use, you know, we use pounds, but they don't use pounds in other countries, right? So, basically, I'll just convert this for you. That comes out to be about 167 pounds, which is, some people are 167 pounds. That's about right. So, that fits our proportion. Now, obviously, there are humans that are heavier than 167 and lighter than 167. The same goes with frogs. All right, let's look at another organ. Go back there. Small intestines. Clear that out there. Go back to our pen. Clear that out. So the small intestines, and there they are. Some of you, when we were doing the lab, were confusing them with the ovaries. If you touch the ovary, it's a little harder but here they are and we pulled these out and they kind of look like noodles right and we measured them we measured the length of them and so we know the small intestines again they uh, help in they aid in you know absorbing all of those nutrients that we eat so let's look what we're going to compare what's our ratio going to be we'll compare the length we're doing length, right? So we'll do the length of the small intestines over the body. Small intestines over the body. So in the frog, some of you were measuring the small intestines and got 30 centimeters. But when you measured the body, you got around 7 centimeters. And of course, many of you had different frogs. But roughly, we got that. So let's compare proportion and see if this makes sense with humans. So we have 30 over 7. And now if you measure a small intestines on a human, which we couldn't do in lab, obviously, that comes out to be about a 670 centimeters. Much, much bigger. So now if we're going to use the length of a human, of course, there's many different lengths of human. We can do the average height of a woman. For example, average height of a woman is about 64 inches. It's about 5 foot 4. So we use that. And let's use another color. So what should we do? What should we do? Is this proportional? Let's see. Well, all we have to do is just say 30 times 64 and 7 times 670. And we'll see if it's proportional. So let's see. Again, 30 times 64, what, what would we get? All right, so again, if we did 670 times 7, that gives us a big number of 4,690. And if we did 30 times 64, we'll just get 1920. Of course, that is not proportional at all. So we would say not proportional. So... Let's redo it now. Let's say we did the frog. We measured the frog. We measured the frog's small intestines, 30 centimeters, and the body at 7. And then we know a human's small intestines is about 670. So what should the height be of a human for this to be proportional? 
So again, we now we have 30x, because we right 30 times x is 30x. And we already know that 670 times 7 is 4,690. Here's our two-step equation. Divide out the 30, right? We have 30 times x. We want to divide it. And whatever we do to one side, we do to the other. All right. So remember, this will be in um, centimeters. This will be the length in centimeters. All right. So what is... 4,690 divided by 30, All right? And if you uh, got your calculator out there, you would find this is 156 centimeters. And if you want to convert 156 centimeters, that comes out to about 61 inches. And 61 inches is about 5 feet. So a person who's 5 feet would have similar proportions to a frog with their small intestine. So we just compared the small intestines and the liver. All right. Next video, we'll do other organs. All right. Great job.